hello and welcome to this presentation of our new display range that we have developed here at Cross Control. Our completely redesigned CC Pilot Vision Line display range. These displays are meant to be used for instrumentation, process control, video and guidance and more. And we think that they enable you to do the next generation in HMIs with better support for the operators, with more functionality and helping you to provide a better customer user experience. The displays are improved both in the design and the mechanics. They have improved internals with better performance and they have a better software support as well to enable you to provide more and more functionality. And today we will take a brief look at some of these aspects and show some examples. Let's start with the hardware. The new lineup is made of three different versions. The V700, the V1000 and the V1200, being 7, 10 and 12 inch respectively. The 7 inch has a resolution of 800 by 480 and the 10 and the 12 inch has 1280 by 800. They are built to be used in daylight condition, featuring 800 to 1000 nits. And they are optically bonded, meaning that the resin is filled with the different layers from the display to the touch to the front glass. This provides better brightness and also prevents adjacent lights. Plus, it reduces fogging. For these new displays, we're focused on making a slim and lightweight design that are easy to integrate and install in any cab. To optimize the footprint and the visibility, we try to make the chamfers as slim as possible and an angled backside to provide an even slimmer appearance. It has a small chamfers to allow for panel installation as well. We have specifically tried to make a clean design without any specific design elements or logos. This to provide reduced clutter and a nicer installation into your cabin environment. These new displays are based on our latest ARM technology platform, featuring a good balance between performance and cost. All three products come with the IMX 8X CPU. The 7 inch uses a dual core version and the 10 and the 12 inch uses the quad core version, giving you ample performance to run simultaneously applications at once with good performance and a good response. Compared to prior generation products that are for example based on the IMX6 CPU, this provides much better performance, up to three times better, especially for graphics intensive applications. And to show a little bit of this performance, Anders has prepared a couple of demos. Thank you, Marcus. And to make a quick demonstration on the graphical performance difference between uh, the new generation of displays compared to an uh, old IMX6 based display here, uh, I have here installed an OpenGL benchmark application called GL Mark II. This is running side by side on each displays. I'm not sure how visible this is on video, but uh, the calculated frame rate on the IMX8 is about three times better than on the IMX6 based. Let's take this benchmark application uh, and move this into something more useful. For example, a 3D rendering of a machine. Here we have a vector based model. The 3D acceleration support in the IMX8 GPU makes rendering of this 3D model very smooth and fluent. I would also like to talk about one small but perhaps important aspect and that is boot time. This is really important from a user experience perspective. I will here demonstrate the boot up of the system into a Qt based demo application. I will now turn on power. Here we go. Now the bootloader is loading. And after that, the Linux OS is starting up and finally the Qt application is booting. It, the process only takes a few seconds before the application is up and running. Thank you, Anders. What this really means in practice might be difficult to see on a video like this. But if you see it in reality, it really means a different experience. Whatever type of machine or system you are developing, we think that user experience is key for success. And to develop this, you need to have a good tool support. We have focused on an open platform to let you choose what you want. But we have also prepared it for you to make starting up easy. We have a custom Linux, but we also offer the BSP so that you can develop it yourself. You can use whatever tool you want, for example, HTML5 to build the graphics. But we also have support for Qt to be able to make really advanced applications and nice graphics. 
or codices if you want to develop control systems in an easy way. To show some of these capabilities and what you can do, Anders has some new demos for you. Thank you, Marcus. I will now make a quick demonstration on how to build and compile and deploy an application to any of the displays we have shown here today. Here I have the development environment. And that is a virtual machine that we have prepared with all of the tool chains needed to compile an application to any of the cross-control display units. To make a quick demonstration of how to use this, I have opened one of the demos that we have seen earlier in the video. Since this is a Qt application, it is cross-platform and can be compiled for any of the supported devices. I can also run it simulated on my laptop and that can be very good during development. To compile the source code, I need to select the device type I want to compile for and this first example I will just run it simulated. So I select the desktop Qt build and press compile. I can see the output from the compiler in the Compile Output tab. To actually run this, all I need to do is press the Run button and it opens on my laptop. If I want to run this on the display unit instead, I just change the kit to the CC Pilot V1000 and press Compile again. This time I see the cross-compiler output in the output tab. And to run this, I press run and then I need to deploy the file to the display using SSH. I need to type the password and now the binary is uploaded and executed on the display. With the performance of the new IMX8 based display computers, we also have the power of running several applications in parallel. Here we have developed an application example uh, based on Wayland that uses uh, Windowing. I will demonstrate this for you. Here we can start several applications running side by side and this makes user experience and navigation between applications much more easy. Let's move to another feature and that is support for digital video. We know that video is getting more important for the operator both for process support and for situation awareness. Earlier we have used analog cameras. Here, digital cameras provide a better visual clarity. But the downside has earlier been the delay from the camera to being presented on the displays. But with our products with better performance and optimized software, the delay is now down to 100 milliseconds from the camera to the display. Here we have in this example, uh, four digital Ethernet cameras connected to one V700 display. These cameras are configurable and can stream with very high resolution. Streaming with very high resolution uh, can be quite demanding on the hardware that processes in the video. So uh, in this case, if I would connect four high resolution streams to one V700 display, this can be too much for it. Instead, the good thing with these cameras is that they are controllable. You can send commands from the display to select what type of resolution each camera should stream. So in the example I have here, we have four streams connected and when I press one of the pictures, it will send a command to the camera selected and say that it should send with a higher resolution. When I, now it sends in a full screen resolution, when I press it, it will switch command again to send in a small resolution. We would like to show one more thing related to video and that's the display's inherent support for more advanced video using AI and object detection. I say inherent because that requires added module that the device support through its PCI Express port. Here we can extend the performance using additional AI modules that we connect to the PCI Express port. And we have an example here showing the performance for object detection on cameras. Here we have implemented an object detection demo. This object detection demo is using the Google Accelerator add-on using the mini PCI Express slot. This example is using pre-trained model uh, using TensorFlow Lite. And this model can find and identify 100 different objects. Thanks, Anders. This concludes today's little showcase. There are much more that we haven't shown today. For example, the Bluetooth support for wireless keyboards or media playback, 
the Wi-Fi that lets you connect to networks, or use VNC for remote access. ISOBUS that supports agricultural applications or more advanced software functionality using more languages or more advanced 3D functionality, for example. If you want to know more, have a look at our homepage, crosscontrol.com, or send us an email at info at crosscontrol.com. Thanks for watching, and we hope that we will see you again very soon.